Okay, you can see right here, Alex, turn around and say hi, Alex. Hello. Okay, uh, Alex is actually uh, flying the uh, Cessna 172 with the glass cockpit. And with that, I'll let Alex talk about what the uh, airplane can do, or the uh, sim can do on the inside. Alright, so like Nick said, we, uh, do it. we use the sim for pilot quick start, trying to introduce the, uh, the student to how the uh, airplane systems work. What buttons, uh, and also the usage of uh, how we run the checklist to start up the, uh, the uh, aircraft as well as inspect to make sure everything is working okay. So, and once that happens, uh, we introduce them to how to taxi uh, on the ground, how to maneuver the aircraft on the ground, and also on um, how to uh, do a normal takeoff as well as uh, introducing the basic maneuvers of climbs, descents, uh, standard turns, and also uh, gradually introducing them to how to come in for approach to a landing. Um, and also, like Dave said as well, we use this for instrument training as well. Um, and we can change uh, anything we want, uh, the weather, uh, visibility, any forecast of weather. Um, to help them get uh, accustomed to what it's like to fly in uh, the clouds. Um, so that's uh, basically it on what we do for introduction. So I'm going to just do a normal takeoff, how we uh, introduce uh, the students to. So. so we're already on the runway here, so we're, I'm going to add full power. I'm just uh, teach them how to maintain directional control with uh, the use of the rudder pedals, which is used for our feet. So, and then we're waiting for the airspeed to come alive, and we teach them that we rotate about 55 knots. So now that we are at 55, we can slowly start pulling back on the elevator here. Help, oh, and then we also teach them how to maintain directional control as we're climbing out to maintain center line with the runway. Having that good sight picture of leveling the nose with the horizon, um, and you climb out to about 75, 80 knots on climb out. And you basically just give them uh, step by step instructions of um, how to do a normal climb out. And then once we get up to altitude, we teach them how to level off the uh, aircraft. Um, and then introduce them on how to make basic turns uh, each way, as well as how to uh, properly descend with the uh, use of ju adjusting the power. Right. So I'll just level off here at 2,000 feet. And at this point, we teach them how to uh, how to become level with, uh, with the airplane, having that side picture of looking out from the horizon. Um, and then once uh, we introduce them to that, we start uh, teaching them how to properly do a coordinated turn. So I'll just do a turn to the left. So this basic uh, maneuvers. Uh, coordination with the use of uh, ailerons and rudder. So we introduce them to make basic turns and level flight with the airplane. Also, after uh, we introduce them now, we introduce them to how to uh, properly descend the airplane, giving them the sight picture, um, as well as cross-checking our instruments as well, um, making a nice uh, constant descent.
that's basically what uh, we do for uh, the uh, pilot quick start. Um, we also uh, introduce them to how to uh, navigate to an airport um, using uh, GPS. Um, and then uh, the uh, pilot quick start has four uh, sim sessions that we uh, have the uh, student do. And then the last fifth session is actually going up into the aircraft and doing what is called a graduation flight so they can get a feel of what an actual airplane uh, feels like and how it flies. So it's uh, basically how uh, we uh, introduce uh, new incoming students to the uh, aviation uh, world and how to start off without becoming a pilot. So.